Do you have a light, darling? Because I do. Welcome, darling, to My Crazy Dollar World, and today we are talking about the all-new live-action Disney movie, Cruella. Yeah. Do note there are spoilers. I did specifically put it in the title. Spoilers. So. Um, first off, first off, in that black punk sort of outfit that Cruella was mainly advertised in, um, I love that they, they changed the fact that she went from a curly sort of afro to a sort of curly afro to, you know... Because personally, while I do love the afro, I definitely did like the waves better, the wavy bob. But let's dive right into this before this video becomes way too long. So, Cruella, as a child, she knew she was different from others. And she always flaunted her differences, even if that meant getting in trouble. A lot. It's not even funny how much, how many times she gets in trouble. Like, it's insane. It's actually a little obnoxious and troubling. But when she finally gets expelled from her, but when she finally gets expelled from her, from her school, her mom takes her to her, takes her to her job just to go talk to the Baroness. The Baroness. But, but Cruella's mother specifically asks her to stay in the car. So, she does. For five seconds. She just wanted a little peek. And when she got a little peek, she did not want to look away because she finally felt like she belonged. But then she got caught and had to run away from the Dalmatians that could have, and most likely would have, hurt her. And then, Cruella hides under bushes, but then, twist. The Dalmatians go at the mother. And she's killed. And what happens next? Cruella is scarred, and she must continue running away. That way she isn't caught, and and people think that she, well, she ran because she was ashamed. And honestly, I felt so bad for Cruella, like, for real. And she was scarred, and by the next morning, she was at London. And she slept at the fountain. She slept at the fountain in sort of park. I can't remember what the name was. And by morning, she found Jasper and Horace as children. And they become really good friends, and soon they become a, a family. They grow up, they steal, they... Cruella designs the, the disguises. They steal, they disguise, she designs, they steal, she designs, she steal, they design, they design, they steal, they design, they steal, you get the pic, you get the picture. So, very interesting, very much love it, very much. For the tone of this video, I also got some two-toned hair. No, I'm just kidding. I just used Avery's wigs. I just had to incorporate something dolly in there. Anyways, moving on. Um, so yeah, they steal, they do this, they do that. And then one day, one very faithful day, Horace and Jasper give her, give her a chance. Well, they um, made her an application to apply to her favorite store to be, to work there. But it turns out, um, her dream was a nightmare. She, all she got was being, tr all she got was trampled on, like, literally, she got trampled, like, her hand got trampled by a foot. And she was like, and I was like, 
I would be all like, Excuse me! You did not just step on my hair! But she didn't, because she's more civilized than me. And by night, I think, and by night, she gets herself into a little bit of trouble. So, as punishment, she has to clean her boss's office. Fun, right? So, yeah, she does that. Then, then, um, while she also had some, while she had an adult drink, I'm not going to say what it is because YouTube's going to be all like, the monetization, the monetization round. But she had an adult drink. And then she um, turned the clothing display for the store into something absolutely beautiful because she thought it looked trashy and nasty and definitely not her style. So she turned it into something magnificent. I hope to put a picture there if I find one. So, what do you know? Now, next, what happens is, well, next, what happens is, she gets fired from her job, but the Baroness, now the Baroness is going to be a very important character, so remember her name, so the Baroness then ha- has her work for her after she's fired. And since she passed, since she managed to do everything she had to do to be able to work there, um, she got the job. And so, but then one day she notices that the Baroness is wearing her mother's necklace the night she died. Suspicious, huh? Suspicious, huh? Well. Well, that night, that very, that very night, she got ready for the black and white ball. Except she was ready to stand out from the crowd. She was ready to march to the beat of her own DJ. And with fierce style, she came up with this. I know. I know. It's amazing. It's beautiful. And they even actually made it all. I wish I could get it, but they sold out it immediately. But hey, at least I can look at her from afar. It's not like I was ever going to buy her anyways. (laughs) But just imagine if someone actually got it for me and that... If so, then I would have been like, Oh my god, thank you so much! This is a dream come true! Moving on, I'm getting sidetracked, sorry, sorry, sorry. Anyways. Cruella. 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 Then, it makes everybody get her attention. And what does she do? She grabs a glass of adult drink and they were sort of formed into some sort of pyramid but she took one from the bottom and what do you think happened everything else fell and she took it drank it put it on a tray and then she grabbed a light and then (laughs) magic had happened the the cloak that she was wearing was a white a very nice cloak, actually. Kind of thought about that. She had to burn it. So then she burned it. And then, while, pe- while the Baroness's guards tried to snatch her, she could not be snatched. But then finally, one of them brought her to the Baroness, and the Baroness had a talk. And Cruella tried to get her necklace back, but it was a fail, because one of the, one of the donations... One... One of the Dalmatians ate the necklace. 
or swallowed it, I guess. They didn't necessarily eat it. When you eat, you have a choice. You don't just um, accidentally have it go flying in the air and into your mouth, right? Right. So, Cruella, Cruella then. Just give me a second. Cruella then begins to upstage the Baroness multiple times, and each time more fabulous than the last. But then, while on her lunch break, she designs a magnificent dress for Cruella, of course. Oh, so sort of Cruella works sort of like a Hannah Montana thing, just to let you know. Or Cruella's sort of like Hannah Montana, and Estella is basically Miley. Yeah, her Cruella's name, original name, was actually Estella. It was not Cruella. Just wanted to let you know that. Sorry, I didn't um, let you. I didn't cover that before. But anyways, so Cruella designs and Estella. I'm sorry, Estella designs an amazing dress, and it's gorgeous. But, um, the Baroness is all just like, hmm, this dress, hmm, she's designing something. Let's see, let's see it. And well, she did something magnificent. When she sewn it up together, it was beautiful nonetheless, but by the time it was the spring fashion show for the Baroness, it turned out all those little beads were actually not beads at all. They were cocoons. Cocoons, people. Cocoons. Cocoons. Cocoons of moths. And what do you think happened next? The moths ate the clothes. And the spring fashion show of the Baroness's fashion line was ruined. Oh. No, no, no. But that was not the end. Cruella had her own absolutely fabulous fashion show to upstage the Baroness. It was magnificent, and what she was wearing was absolutely stunning. You can fight me on it. I don't care. What she was wearing was magnificent. Fight me on it. Fight me right now. Though some people speculated that she killed dogs for her amazing wet fashion wear but don't worry people she did not she's she's a psycho but she's not a monster at least for now of course <laughs> anyways anyways moving along so Cruella and Horus and Jasper are going through a difficult relationship I'm going through difficult relationship problems but Cruella stops becoming very grateful. Grateful for them, but that's because she's in Cruella mode. And not Stella. So, there are difficult issues with their relationship at the moment. But do not worry. We shall continue on with the story anyways. So, on their way home, Cruella... Cruella comes upon the Baroness at her home. I know, insane, right? Absolutely insane. So, what does she do? What does she do? Well, glad you asked. Well, Cruella has a talk with the Baroness. And because Cru Cruella has sneaking suspicion about her mother about the Baroness. She finally figured out what something very dark that had happened. The Baroness had killed her mother! Insane. Absolutely insane. And this is the absolute insane part. This is when things start going absolutely berserk and going absolutely off the rails. Just like in the commercial, where when Cruella says, I'm woman, hear me roar, after that, everything goes off the rails. 
It's similar in that way. It's similar in that way, shape, and form. Anyways, the Baroness ties up Cruella to a chair and has her burn in her own home. She's gonna burn at the stakes. Oh no! What's gonna happen to Cruella? What's gonna happen? I mess now! <laughs> well, do not worry. She does almost burn at the stakes. Someone helps her alongside her dog. It was one of the Baroness's workers. It turns out, Cruella is the Baroness's dog. Bum, bum, bum! I know. Huge plot twist. I know, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful plot twist. So. Cruella has many questions. <laughs> I swear, I'm just going off of what I remember, so if anything seems a little off when you watch it, just know. I am under the age, I'm one year under the age of 13. And as, as well as that, I also am bad at, um, a little bit bad at doing movies, where I'm like talking about the movies. <laughs> All some ranking stuff like that, I'm just, then sure, I'm good, I'm good at that, but let's just move on. So, so it turns out that the Baroness's help, one of the Baroness's helpers, or guards, I guess, um, actually work actually turned out that the Baroness had a husband, but while he was away, while she was away on a business trip, while he was away on a business trip, she let the baby die. But one of the Baroness's helper did not want to go through with it, so she gave it to one of the sweetest worker, one of the sweetest co-workers ever. Gave it to what we all thought was Cruella's mother. So it turned. So yeah. Huge plot twist. And Cruella makes. So then Cruella make, goes and makes up with. Um. Regain, regains Horace and Jasper's trust. And they have a bio. Bio. I don't know what to say right now. By a doll, by a jollical? I don't. It's just a really good plan. It's just a really good plan. So their plan is to have everyone to go to the Baroness's fundraiser party, and everyone would dress up like. Cruella, darling, Cruella. Yes, everyone dresses up like Cruella, darling, Cruella. I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways, so Cruella then, Cruella then does what? What does she what does she do? Well, she has a plan. She basically pokes the Baroness's arm with a needle. Do not try this at home, kids. It will not distract your parents. It will just make them angry at you for doing something you shouldn't have done. Even if they, you feel they've done something unfair, do not try this at home, parents. Kids, someday eventually you will get to leave home, so don't worry. <laughs> uh. I swear, I feel like I'm gonna get demonetized one of these days. Like, I don't put out content like that, like that, it's not good for children. But, you know, I, I just feel it in my gut. Moving on. So, Cruella pokes the Baroness's arms, or her mother's arm in this case, and then grabs the whistle of the dogs. Ooh! And then she changes her disguise of Cruella and turns 
into a Stella. So, what happens next? She goes outside and the Baroness sees her. And everyone gets and Horace, Jasper, and one of Corella's friends, who's also into drag, I think. I think he's cool. I definitely appreciate some well some well-deserved sort of drag representation. Definitely like it. The sort of Tom Boy. Definitely sort of like in the Tom Boy-esque sort of feeling with that character. Okay, so anyways, they get everybody, all the guests, to go outside. Why? Well, the Baroness shoves her own daughter off the cliff. But Cruella had a plan. Girls, girls, and drag queens. A well-trimmed dress is a very can be very helpful. Like it can turn into a parachute. That's how Cruella. That's how Estella. Well, Cruella survived. Estella though died. Not actually. Remember, Cruella and Estella are both the same person. Remember, don't be Horace and Jack. Don't be Horace. Where he, when at Estella's funeral, he literally cries. That was a funny joke, actually. So, Estella uses the parachute and disguises herself again as Cruella, and people all think that Estella just died, and the Baroness just shoved someone off a cliff. So, she's taken to jail. And what happens? Well, Estella, on her will, gave all her money, would give all her fortune to uh, Cruella. So, Cruella gets the home and turns Hellman Hall into H E Double Hockey Stick Hall. I would have said the full word, but I don't know if YouTube will demonetize me or not, and I do not wish for them to demonetize me. Moving along, so, so, we move on. Now, Cruella is happy, having a great life, and actually one of the Baroness's dogs got pregnant. And what happens next? Well, actually, in the, in the credits, I definitely like this, Cruella, Cruella gives away the dogs, gives away the puppies to to her friend Anita from her school buddy. Also, the actress who plays Anita is really pretty. I love her. She's definitely really pretty. She's really pretty. Love her. Stand her. <laughs> and before someone's all just like, she's not played by an an, a, a Euro, an actress with Eurocentric features. How could they? And before you go all like, oh my gosh, how like, how did I pick you? Like, why? Why did they pick you? Darling, they picked her because she was a good choice. Because she did good in acting for the parts when she was trying out for the part of Anita. So Anita got her dear friend, Podita. And Roger actually turned out to be um, the Baroness's lawyer, was fired later on in the movie, um, got um, one of the puppies, and the name of the dog is Pongo. Very cute. And that's how the movie ends. The credits are very cool, the music is great, I love it all, the fashion is amazing. So, yeah, let me just hop right back in to my human form. So, we're back in human form. Um, I definitely enjoyed the movie. It was really good. Really good. So, yeah. This movie was really good, though if you do watch it, do note you might need a parent because it is a PG-13 movie. So, yeah, that was a good movie. I give it a uh, 4 out of 5 stars. Who am I kidding? Five out of five stars! Fight me! <laughs>
Fight me, Disney live-action haters. Maleficent was good. Fight me. Cruella was good. Fight me. Now everyone's gonna fight me when I say this, but... Mulan was a little good. Fight me. <laughs> Alright, guys. Bye. Thank you, guys. Thank you, darling, for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Or I shall skin your puppies alive. Nah, I'm just kidding. Anyways, thank you, darling, for watching, and I will see you all next time.